What's up guys, I'm George LaHop and today I'm going to be showing you how you wire up a new receiver to your car and how what you do with this entire mess of wires that you get when you order a receiver. So check it out. So when you order a receiver, what you're going to end up getting is the receiver itself um, and then a data cable here. Uh, so one important uh, thing you have to know uh, for any type of receiver out there is that this isn't all you're going to need. Uh, what you're actually going to need is some type of data interface cable um, that lets you connect from your receiver to it, which will then connect to your cards. So this is how you go about actually wiring this all together. You're going to download the manual for the interface device that you have. So for me, it's the Radio Pro 4. So I just went to their website and got the manual for how to connect it. And you're going to see for this for different receiver models and companies, they have different controls and they actually tell you which radio select switch to choose. So I used to have a Kenwood because I was number three and now I have a Pioneer. So I'm going to go here and take the switch. I'm going to switch it to number seven on this guy. You also need the manual that came provided with your receiver. On this manual, it's going to tell you exactly how to connect all the wires uh, from the uh, cable set that they had provided with your receiver to this new interface. Alright guys, what you're going to need is a soldering iron. Um, and this soldering iron here actually has some helping hands that will make it a little bit easier for us. Some electrical solder. Some shrink tubing will help keep it secure once you've actually made the connection. You're also going to need something to strip the wires with. Uh, pair of scissors works just fine. So I'll give you a quick example. Um, in here it says uh, for the power cord it's yellow to the terminal supplied with power guard with ignition switch. And you'll see on the Radio Pro the same thing, yellow, battery, plus 12 volts, that's the power. Okay, so I'm gonna take the yellow cable from this interface over here, and I'm gonna take the yellow cable, so this is the interface to the Pioneer for the power, and this is the one coming from the vehicle, that's where the power is gonna come from. All I'm gonna do, is kind of take the scissors and go around it lightly. Just let me strip off the cable coating like that. So before we get to the soldering part, it's extremely important. Um, this is, you know, the number one main mistake of all um, wire uh, soldering of wire is that you should always put the wire wrap fur on first. All right. And all I'm going to do is entangle them like this. Okay, so now you can see that I kind of tied together the two connections. Now, I'm going to take my solder and my soldering iron, and all you really have to do is add heat to the wire first, so you're just gonna leave the iron on the wire like this, and then apply the solder to it. Okay. Okay, put the soldering iron away, give it a couple seconds to cool down, so now you have your wire here, all I'm going to do is put the wire wrap on top of it, and if you see, all you have to do is kind of use this flame around it, and it starts taking to it, yeah, that works way better than the iron, that's all you have to do, and you have a good connection. Uh, for your receiver to the car. So from here, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and take it on. Um, all you have to do again is look at those two documents, figure out which wires you have to connect, and then solder them together. Make sure it's a strong connection. Whatever questions you guys have, go ahead and put down below uh, and comment below. I will get back to you guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I hope this video was helpful for you, and thanks again for watching, guys.